on YouTube. Yeah, you have, you subscribe to my channel, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what the rumpus pompus can do. <laughs> You've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm Bro, I just sure shot. I just showed up. So quickly, this guy just spawned in. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar, George. Glad my rather cryptic description did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. However, <laughs> well, I thought they were horses, or were they just invisible? See, cause the thing is, because now you just don't know if you know it's part of the law, or if the horses just didn't render, or some shit, you know. Avalanche. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna skip this. It seems like a cutscene, man. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. Right. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. I saw a little bit at the end. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to. I know it's it's crazy, but then France got another red card at the end. Of course, as the other fifth years have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. And how do they do? Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher. He's also a remarkable oh, nice. well and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone it's to about flattery. Downtown. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna get copyrighted, thanks, man. Have you seen this? Uh, I have ooh, that looks looking fresh. As to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I get to convince my colleagues at the ministry. I believe he is a significant. There's a Skyrim. <laughs> Did they mix up the game? Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope this doesn't haunt me. Ran rock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Hmm? Before I could respond, I. Oh, luckily, I actually already have a this. job, so. It was the last thing she sent me, Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Zoom what is it? Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic uh. protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hmm. 
Not grumpy. Oh my word! <laughs> ah, you're awake. Oh, it is those invisible thingies. Surely they could cause some parachutes or something. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Wand is out. And fire. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, the hmm? ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not <laughs> been the day either of us expected. Uh... But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Um. Mind your step. Oh uh, yeah, I did see that. Where do you suppose? Nah, it's good. I'm glad. This man can jump higher than an older. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten ancient magic. Ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Yes. To have been lost to time. I did see that. Three sixty. Three sixty no scope. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Jeez. I don't know where she came into possession of the book key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, that's the part down below. This way. This guy struggles with every jump. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. 
<laughs> Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Ah. I don't know if you saw what I was doing there. Oh, someone else joined the stream. Hello, whoever joined the stream. Oh, I should have actually read that. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Fine. Sorry? We're close now, it's just ahead. No. When did you finish it? Oh uh, hectic. And was it good? Steady yourself. Hectic. Eh? I swear you just take whatever name you want to do and you just put an O at the end and that's how you ask the spell. <laughs> Mario! Fuck these birds. <laughs> Why would someone build this here? I suspect they value their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Yeah. It's uh, quite a rapid fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, continue. Let's go. Surely there's a battle royale mode in this game. <laughs> Professor, it's a mural of some kind. No. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, literally that's just what everyone wants to do. I mean, even not. I... <laughs> I really wasn't paying attention at all. Okay, is it like a jump spell? Can I jump off of him? What do you mean the other left? Oh, I have to investigate, Professor, hold on. This statue. This may have been his home. Uh <laughs> see, see. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be sick. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? I can't see him quite fast as well, which is cool. Can I walk through it? Oh my gosh, hello. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? <coughs> How is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. No. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. <laughs> what in Merlin's name? You sure we still gonna spin out on the deliveries? Godric's heart. Where oh, hectic.
Hello? Rumpus Pumpus. Surely they make an ATM by now. <laughs> exactly. Harry Potter? Rhombus Bumpus? Just a moment. Back. Uh, yeah, hold on, just let's... Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Matt, he's the same height as you. The key. <laughs> the white sport key. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. You. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, not much has happened, but yeah, it does look cool. Can I drive? Can I cast spells? How many folks are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vault you see now are the newest. Our private entrances to the bank common at Green <coughs> They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a break? A what? Sorry? Oh, that's good. I'm glad. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? So, you got? Oh, Hector. Number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries. Oh. He resides in the deepest part of the bank. Okay. So, we've quite a distance to go. Vault 12. Yeah, so you got some pretty dead. good uh, lectures there. I oh, like her. So I can definitely away. can definitely come to you for some legal advice now. Huh? Of? Are we gonna race? Oh no more. <laughs> Number said he's just on rails tonight. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin. Though. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Why is it so little? Why can't you get a normal statute? When was the last time this court was active? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. Hectic. How small is the writing? No one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank you, Nier. Oh, 
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close Hold the on. door. Boy. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, <laughs> that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Revelio. That's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. So touch it, Rue. If you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. What are you saying just now? This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? That's cool. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah. Revelio. Okay. That's cool. I see something up ahead. What is Ach, it? No, man. That glow again, but on the floor. Yeah, no, I agree. Revelio. towards the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes you know as are so definitely the best way to test you seem to have caused the floor to change that statue what statue is your I see party audio coming through on the live stream a reflection in the floor i can know man matthew Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, <coughs> when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Go with the drug shop troopers. Drug. Oh. Orbital drop shock troopers. I'm live streaming as well. YouTube. Oh. 
How do I just cross the pin though? If you hold triangle, if you hold triangle and they attack you afterwards before you get to the counter. Oh, that's good. Good night. What do I have to do here? Oh. Attack me. This thing doesn't even heal the whole way, what the? Sorry? I see. Give me a second, I need to say good night. Be back now. Okay, cool, I'm back. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? <laughs> this is Immortalized on YouTube. Where am I supposed to go? Revelio! What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Gold. Shiny. Yes. 59 gold. Lumos. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. Oops. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Just the sun.
She's talking. Like, Let's move quick. Come on, man. That's too easy. Wait, let me just change the audio balance. What did you say? Yeah, he also just started playing it. He's played like two hours. Doing anything for your birthday, Maddie? So you can pop by on when is it Tuesday? I don't even know what day today is. Huh? I mean, like the the date. Okay. Yeah. So Tuesday. Yeah, or after, whenever. Okay, then before. <laughs> yeah, you can come have lunch. <clears throat> Everything in this universe just seems so excessive. above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories <clears throat> I'm gonna pull them off like spider webs Oof, this things creep me out Follow my like these long stringy things Also, how do they breathe when they're under this liquid? <laughs> Constructor! Bob the Builder! All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created... Maybe impossible to follow. <laughs> yeah. It will only be impossible so it does look to hella Italian. see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. 
We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What you're seeing the glow that surrounded them hello it's other person that's just joined the stream thanks for coming to watch see prepare to be I disappointed by me and rompus bumpus of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed but could never miriam and perhaps miriam mckeva died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir? They had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> Star Wars perhaps crossover. Your young friend here will be more helpful. Yeah. What's next? I suppose you got yeah, Lord of the Rings with the orcs or goblins. I guess who I saw at the airport today. Huh? No. <laughs> Timo ODV. Yeah, he was. He was uh, in front of me in, in the like boarding queue. And then I wanted to airdrop one of his sets I recorded to him because he had airdrop on, but I didn't. I thought that would have been quite funny. Looks like it's gonna get squished. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed. Totally unaffected by my magic. Where are we? you're a bit weak then, mate. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ooh, who am I going to choose? Family guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've got a, I've got an idea. Well, I'm torn between two houses.
Hey? It's just this music is so loud, I can't hear a thing. It's basically like being in the plane in Warzone. Just can't hear a thing. Sorry, what were you guesses? Just because it rhymes, eh, Matt? Is that what you guessed it? No, no. Either Asian Claw or Slytherin. That's <laughs> a boss. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Hello, person that joined the stream. Thanks for coming to watch. Um, please like and subscribe. Actually, you don't have to. I can't tell you what to do. This thing just seems so familiar and jealous. Black. Yeah. Prepare yourself to meet <clears throat> the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony yeah. is over. That's great. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors. Yeah, Fig. and I mean you can claim the free games of the month through it and stuff. If you're lucky, yeah. we might still be able to get you hey? sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Did you close that up? Seat. <laughs> Thought so. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Oh, three years. Let's go. I can't. Ooh. I'm going to explore. I don't care what I'm classes. forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. That's such a corporate Indeed. answer. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Daring. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. No. I'm not being Gryffindor. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. But Ravenclaw is also quite cool. Which one? Ravenclaw or Slytherin?
Come on, quick. I don't know, does it make a difference? I would hope so, the whole thing is based on being a slung. Yeah, actually, with the name like Rompus <laughs> Bompus, you gotta pop Slithy in there. I must be honest. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. You belong in Slytherin! Slithering these DMs. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Yeah. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. Yeah. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin. I was going to say, like, the amount of stuff that they put these students through, I, I think Quidditch is one I'm of the sure least. You will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, but not only that, what about the tri wizard tournament? An entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor is this to show you to your common room. Right this way. Is it? No, but she didn't she get with Harry? It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. <laughs> it may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. <laughs> to the common room. Sure, like Holmes over here. Eh? I suppose some introductions are in order. Already knew that. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. <coughs> Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. 
I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. It was bloody terrifying, Matt. I got a fright from that dragon just rocking up. Uh, is there is damage turned off in the common rooms? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. <laughs> you should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are Oh my gosh, shut up. You're so irritating already. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Okay. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Bloody fish coming from. I I think I heard one. What a fish. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Uh. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. The so doesn't have pupils. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Oh, he's blind. <laughs> memorable arrival. Well. If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Why is everyone so nice? Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, man's got tech sprint. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates. And Stop closing the app, Matthew. Hard. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs hey? at the end of the year. OWLs? I can't know, man. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. <laughs> here you are. Hogwarts. What is it? It's <clears throat> a wizard's field guide. 
It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Huh? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. This way. Oh, bloody child. Okay, that's good for you. Stop being such a tryhard. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. I tried a new reversal hex on that small truck of mine. I found it rather boring. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. Kelpie. isn't it <laughs> keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle that is pretty cool what do you think so far Matt Opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find central. <laughs> I can't know, man. So basically, Skyrim. What's the load time like? And here we are. That's right. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You, can get you know what the crazy thing is, is like, this is like crazy for so many people, but I mean, it's not that different to St. John's. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station. If you know what I mean. Good chat. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able yeah, to yeah. find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. 
Thank you, Professor. Um, I was saying, it's, did you hear what I said? And you have much to learn. Like this is so foreign for so many people, but this is like not that weird for us. Like it's pretty similar to St. John. <laughs> Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fix. I mean houses. Showing you the eh? He did, Professor. He's been terribly oh, yeah. vague as to the events yeah. preceding your arrival, specifically yeah. about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Okay. Okay. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for How do you just like details? okay, cool, yeah, that's fine. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. So there's no such thing as privacy. In my cool. Classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Clearly not. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Professor. Imagine someone just doing a barrel roll Professor, up to you and be like, it's good to see you. Before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Ah, there's nothing, yes, don't worry. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, <coughs> Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look.
do Levioso. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. But this is now, Levioso. It's like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a and it's defense against the dark supplies, arts, yeah. including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, thanks for joining. And pay attention. Please more drop a comment. May hinge on the magic you are able to master. And tell me where you're watching from. Revelio. Oh, that's cool. Potions. Eighteen seventy five. Blatant theft. You <laughs> stole fifty gold from the bloody teacher's office. Rebellion. Okay, that's a good one, eh? Clarks and supplies. Yeah, I actually need to watch that as well. Prime Vidge. Why didn't they pop in? Oh man, you gotta say how's it to Jizza? Imagine how inconvenient travel sure was before I invented looking. flu powder. <laughs> no. Zero. That's the last time I have a potion idea that I took. How do I access this flu powder? Hey. Oh, hectic. No sick map. blast each other to pieces in your own time. <coughs> I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. 
Weren't they blasting each other in their spare time? Oh, no mind. in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Can yeah. you defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Come on, man. Levioso. But what's the difference between this and Leviosa? Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak. As Master Pruitt, so I understood. Now, the basic well is done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, Protego. Be easy. Levioso. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Take it. Okay, so. This can't be your fault. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Not bad for a beginner. You give us what you get. <laughs> Imagine. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. But we were both in Slytherin. Practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Let me go. <laughs> Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that <laughs> duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned?
count me in. Excellent. <laughs> Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's Fact. joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. <clears throat> Thank you, Fact. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. <laughs> Until next time. Huh. Always thought Leviosa was for first years. Not anymore. Rebellion. Yeah. No, it's very well made so far, it seems. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. <laughs> Off on another adventure, are we? Leviosa. Let's go charm some O's, eh? Did I just take full damage? I did just jump down a flight of stairs, so it would make sense. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. So they're done with the studying. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. 
That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I haven't spoken I see yet. A lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Sorry. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good. Uh, That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. That's the shortest class ever. Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, hey. as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> Come so, on, Max. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres here. To relinquish your charm. Splendid! Happens to the best. Now, oh, I see. think of these nice stones, if you will. Excellent. Not oh, wait, 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 wait. Points to Slytherin. But there's oh. certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Damn it. I, would you care to give our I'm gonna get wrecked because I didn't know how to play. Come on. Well, I didn't know how to play, but you know. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai. Oh, okay, wait, no, I can go again. That's fine. Rompus Pompus has got another yes. chance. Ay, ay, ay. This chick's cracked. What the fuck? Come on! Move! I can't see! What are you doing? That's sex. Do I get 50 now? Because she knocked it. That Thank you. Oh, wait, I know that, what to do. Move! Please, you're always in the way. I need to see. Yes, sir. Well, that didn't work. Okay, now what do we do? I want to win. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Can we add a part of Kadara? <laughs> oh no. I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Dubs for the boy, Rompus Pompus. <laughs> yes. 
Yo, this chick, this chick that is glitching whenever she claps. Dubs, worth it. Very good, both of you. Well done. What do you mean I destroyed her? I doubled her points. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received I read that as Uganda. Wow. Here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda. Oh, it is Uganda. The world at a new school in a new country. It's not even that far away, actually. Well, it's been no, nice but it's in North Africa, and then it's not Thanks too far to you. England. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Is it? Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know Where is Uganda? Huh. I thought, it, I thought it was in like, we in like Nigeria's lol. A word if Not exactly in Nigeria, but like in that region. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss what kind of sound cracked? Always a fierce competitor. <sighs> I'm in Slytherin, so is a bit gotta keep up the arrogance. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Hello, Leonie. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. I promise I'm only talking to other girls because of the story. Don't worry. I've always said and then the werewolves joined the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. 
She is. I just said hello, Lena, and then I said I'm only speaking to the girls for the storyline. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just I'm glad I can actually just do it. <laughs> ah. told Rompus Pompus to watch themselves. Lene, what do you think of Rompus Pompus? Revelio. High five, bro. Revelio. Looks like I should be more worried about the cats than the girls. <laughs> True shame. Yeah, it like shows up in the bottom right. It's actually quite cool. What's this dude? Be careful. Let me I don't know what where I'm going. Come on, tax sprint. What are you up to now? Not reading that now, jeez. <laughs> oh, did Lena leave? Huh? Yeah, no, jeez, that was that is way too much reading. Huh? It said you left. There's only one viewer and Matt's still here. Whoa! What was that? Okay, yes, I can see you're still here. Isn't this for Double DZ, you know? Hedwig. 
Why is there another Hedwig in Hedwig? Views. I'm famous. What is it? Is it full damage? Hmm. Three views. Come on, chuck a bit of banter in the chat there, Matt. Matt, you said something. Hedwig Squid. <laughs> Where's Hagrid? Do you think he's in this game? What job of the hat? How do I get to this place? Who, oh, Mrs. Weasley's after class for some extra credit? Then it's all for the game, I promise. <laughs> that pickle jar's a bit empty. Yeah. Never heard that one before. She was going to give a sock immediately. Oh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> Aww. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during the <laughs> tour near. What was There's it? the reason why they call me Rumpus Pompus. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost <laughs> on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've Lit. managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand... Who did I borrow the wand from? Superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. 
help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Who? A rather unsavory local. Best to oh, avoid him and his suspicions. Man's cracked. Including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Akio, that has to me. <laughs> it's a joke in air, I promise. Lumos. I can do a new con, huh? Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ribeiro in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Revelio. Hold on. Got it. Is that not MMA? A flying page must be around here. Somewhere. Isn't it MMA? Revelio. I can't. I don't have enough fingers for this. I have to play claw. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Not too easy to come. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Which wand? Your wand is a conduit of your magic. <laughs> if she says wand at the ready, I'm gonna lose it. Very good. If you would like to Prepare. practice mending something, have a go <laughs> with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Revelio. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, one more task and then I'm going off. Let's see what a sprint endurance is like.
Repair it. Let me answer. Revelio. Well, fancy meeting you here. Akio. Hello, Sebastian. Ah. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? What's going on there, Matthew? Hector. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Yes, she has. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention. Yes, I'm very tired. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Swallow. No. <laughs> How do I save? Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna end the live stream. Thanks for watching, everyone who did watch.